this is a, an old compressor that I put together out of parts from uh, oh, two or three different compressors. And you know them uh, yellow coiled airlines? And uh, they just, they sound like a good idea, like they'd stay out of the way, but they just, they kink and they get caught, hung up on each other. And anyway, I got rid of that yellow coiled airline and uh, put this 25 foot airline on there. And uh, then I've added some cord to this. And then I made this little thing. I screwed it on this. This had these tabs sticking up and it was for the uh, the uh, shroud that went over this. But it won't fit because like I say, these is parts from different, different compressors. So the shroud wouldn't fit the way it did uh, on the original parts. So I use these two tabs to hold this on there, and this is just a one by four. And I drilled a inch and a half hole here on each end, and then just took my jigsaw down and and come down to each hole. And uh, I'm going to use that to wind my cord around. Well, there we go. And this little compressor, it stays stays out in that shed. And uh, I use it to air up my tires on uh, my trailer and my pickup truck. And uh, it just stays out of the way. It's old, old junker that I got for free that I've made work. And uh, that's just the best place for it. And uh, I'm kind of a stickler for air pressure on my pickup truck and my trailer. Which is why I get so many miles out of my tires. One of the reasons. Alrighty, just a little thing I thought I'd show you. I did in my shop. Makes things a little easier to... You know, you're always looking for an extension cord. I mean, when I'm out there and I need this, I have to come back over to the shop to get an extension cord for this. And uh, I just happened across an extension cord at a yard sale and I picked it up with the intention of doing just this to it. So uh, now the cord is always with a compressor and anytime I need to use it, I can just grab it and use it. Well, there's no way around it. This has got to be my next job. I can't afford to buy all these shingles at once, so I have to buy a, you know, six, nine bundles at a time. It's, uh, the roof's gotten pretty bad. Uh, we had a storm come through here last night and did some damage to the shingles and blew these. Let me <clears throat> get my shadow out of the way. Blew a bunch up off. I, I've already nailed <clears throat> most of them back. Here's one. Yeah. They have seen better days. It's time to... I, could, I was hoping I could get three or four more years out of this and I'd be able to afford to buy the whole... Uh, between this roof and that roof, it's 24 square. That roof is still fairly new. And uh, I'm going to take these whirly birds out of here. <laughs> Look at the wind. We had a storm come through here yesterday. And uh, 45, 50 mile an hour wind, which may be not a lot in some areas, but we don't get that kind of wind here. And I uh, messed my whirly bird up too. Blew a couple of limbs down. <sighs> so anyway, I'm taking these whirly birds out and I'm going to put a ridge vent in all the way down here. <clears throat> broke a limb in that tree it's still hanging and uh, we just just cleaned off the driveway we had limbs all over I probably can't see too well with but uh, there is what we picked up so far that pile over there and we got probably two or three days of limb picking up just here you know the property I got across the street that's got limbs down over there too but Right now, I gotta get these patched up, and that is gonna be my next big project. Uh, I can't put it off any longer. The roof, and I tell you, I'm almost to the point where uh, I can't get a bundle of shingles up on the roof. I'm gonna have to do one bundle at a time, and and get uh, you know a dozen up here, and then use them, and then 
recuperate. <laughs> I could hire somebody if I could find somebody to get them to hoist the shingles up here. Uh, laying the shingles down is not going to be a problem. Get them up here is going to be my problem. Alrighty, let me get, get this fixed up and finish checking the roof out. See ya. Okay, quick clip of my finished storage room. Everything neat and in its place. Okay, and uh, I've got something for sale. And if you live near me and I know you, I'll just give it to you. It's a, a wet saw for a tile and a, a tile cutter, a couple of rubber floats, tile nippers. I got it on uh, Craigslist for, I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks, I can't remember. But uh, if you're a subscriber and you live near me, you can use this, I'll give them to you.